Howdy, I'm Ben Bressington from fineworkin4hours.com and I'm here with the amazing Micah from fineworkin4hours.com and I've got to ask a question. We've got these people who are uh, putting comments below these videos and you know, our other videos that we have and they're asking us questions like, how much should I charge? It's a great question. And this guy is the king of charging because he charges me a bucket load every week. So and like, yet, and yet, he's showing me how to charge more. Granted, he doesn't want to pay it to me, but he's going to show me and help show you how to strategically increase your worth, your value, and make more money. But you got to start somewhere. All right, so I'm a newbie, right? You're a newbie. I've, I've gone to Odesk. I've followed our instructions. I've signed. I've created my PayPal account. I've uh, followed their steps to get started. Bear in mind, uh, if you take our training, we're going to give you some advanced instructions, some tips, how to really get this baby rocking and rolling. So you, I'd really recommend checking that out, but I'm a little bit biased. It's my life. Um, but what should I charge? How do, how do we get started? Give me the 30-second like, the rundown. The 30-second rundown. Figure out what it is you are going to do. Mm -hmm. So whatever kinds of jobs you're looking for, mm -hmm. you need to be aware what other people are charging. Yep. Right? And there's ways to do that that we'll show you. Um, you can see uh, what kinds of people, particularly on Odesk and some of these other sites, uh, maybe there's a job for customer service mm -hmm. and there's 12 applicants. These sites will show you who's interviewing, not exactly who they are, but what they're bidding at, the average bid, and whose uh, hourly rates are actually being interviewed. That's key information about what's realistic. Yep. And my advice, what helped me get started and literally doubled my income in maybe six weeks, was pricing slightly less than what I knew I was worth and what I knew people were being paid. And my, my approach in that was, listen, uh, Mr. So-and-so who you're looking for somebody to help them with their website. Listen, I'm just getting started and to show you that I'm really serious, I'm going to give you a taste of what I can do for less. I'm not going to keep this rate forever, but by the time you're done with me, you're not going to want anybody else. And after that was all said and done, it was easy to even ask for a raise. But let me, let me get very, very clear. That's his approach. That's correct. That's not my approach. And he's helping me learn. I charge a lot more. I'm typically the more expensive guy. Uh, I can get anywhere from $500 to $1,000 an hour for what I'm doing uh, and the different services that I provide my clients. But I've got the years of experience, the Correct. portfolio to bring. I will do project-based or retainer-based or retainer and commission-based projects. Um, I will do more complex work like build iPhone apps, create marketing funnels, create sales copies, so copywriting create uh, a complete marketing sy system if you've got an idea. I will do more specialty work and mm -hmm. because I specialize and offer specialty services, I can charge a lot more. So just because you've been doing things out in traditionally, you can charge great money. You can charge very, very good money. You can be charging $5 an hour, $5 an hour is a lot of money to you, or you can be charging 150 or $500 an hour. It is realistic, it is possible, but $500 an hour work is different mm -hmm. to $10 an hour, $5 an hour, $20 an hour work. Absolutely. They're different scales. They're chalk and cheese. Um, I take a lot more risk with mm -hmm. the work I do. Uh, it's much, much bigger. It's bigger chunks. Uh, I have to actually, so for example, with the work I do, I might get paid more hourly, but I have three or four people, or even more at sometimes, mm -hmm. working every hour on that but that's because I choose to operate that way and it's so at that point it's not if he's getting paid five hundred dollars an hour it's not pure profit he's outsourcing and delegating some of that work and that's the increased risk that he's talking about but I also have offices and equipment mm -hmm. and I take on a project and I might have to buy five ten thousand dollars with the licenses or equipment or new whatever or I have to outlay for my clients because mm -hmm. I know it's coming back but 
that's the difference between what you do where, as the where contractor. I'm, where I'm coming from, exactly. And my approach. But we teach you how to go from where Micah is and if you choose to where I am. Exactly. And I'm sort of moving that path. I don't really actually want to be where he's at. But there are things that he does and ways that he speaks that I definitely want to learn. Yeah. And I'm learning it. So will you if you choose to. And we're going to help you learn how, how to charge, how to create the pricing strategy, how to charge good money. Um, and you can earn a lot more than minimum wage. And if you've got a job right now, I'm pretty certain you can be earning a lot more than whatever that is because mm -hmm. I'll compare my hourly to your hourly and we'll see who wins. Um, it's not that kind of contest though, folks. <laughs> he doesn't like me winning at all. He takes it always away from me. But no, it's not that type of contest. But the reality is, is it, it's there. We're going to show you how to tap into it. We're going to show you how to be never unemployed again. And uh, I'm gonna, we're going to show them how to do that at findworkin4hours.com. So uh, if you're really serious and you want to learn how to, what to charge, get over there. What are you waiting for? Let's go. I think they're still there. Findworkin4hours.com. Let's get this party started.